are looking live inside Horton High School Gymnasium. It's semi-final Saturday of the 2024 School Sport Nova Scotia Division I Boys Basketball Championships. The fourth seeded Citadel High School Phoenix who captured their one and only provincial title in 2009 take on the number one seeded Millwood High School Knights in their search of their first title. Good afternoon, everyone. Vince Williams on hand and the entire Maritime Athletic Profiles crew. The second meaningful meeting in the last two weeks between these two teams this season. The Knights defeating the Phoenix in the semifinals of the Capital Region Championships. Millwood, who finished the regular season and playoffs with a perfect record at home, will look to have their winning continue on this neutral site. So it will be an intriguing and interesting matchup between one versus four. It's the fourth beating of the season between these two teams. Millwood holds a slight advantage at two and one. However, they lost in the regular season when they went on the road and lost to Citadel in their house. So we'll send it over to the public address announcer for the starting lineup. Tip off on the other side. Stay with us here on Maritime Athletic Profiles. is for Clark Napier Christmas McDonough along with Billick for the Phoenix for the Knights is Tashimi Otho Kali Reed and Lucas Reed and Billick will jump it up this afternoon officials Ryan Maxwell the crew chief Dolphin Breezy Butts is the umpire one and Brian Walker the umpire two The building is charged up, folks, this afternoon. There's a preponderance of maroon and white and black and blue. Very noticeable here at Horton High School Gymnasium. And a back over to start this game.
to Shimmy. Autho. Good ball movement for Millwood in their opening possession. Shot clock winding on a shot clock violation. As Millwood moved the ball around, really didn't look to attack. Here's McDonough trying to attack on the bounce. Back door to Christmas. Napier three-pointer won't fall. And Peter Napier started three for three from downtown in the quarterfinal. Christmas hits the three. Kane and Christmas, 18 points in that victory versus Horton, 84 to 68. The six foot three senior. Getting it done. And Jaden Lucas with the teardrop. Lucas with 11 in that victory over Yarmouth, 80 to 48. Clark with the teardrop. Floater won't fall. Otho for three. That won't go. One and done for the Knights. Millwood. 13 point win in that semifinal in the capital region. McDonough's three at a wide open look in the corner. Barely scrapes the rim. Otho on the drive. Wow, shot, got it back though, and then turned it over. And McDonough will settle it down and walk it over the timeline. McDonough flips it out to Christmas for three. This time it won't go. To Shimmy on the attack, banks it home. And Bury of Shimmy, who had a slow game in that quarterfinal, was a facilitator in that victory. Ended up with two points in that game. Gets his first field goal to fall. Napier picked up by Tashimi. Shot clock winding down. Napier step back three. Got it! Peter Napier knocks down his first. He's one of two. The six foot junior Napier, 15 points, had four threes in that victory versus Horton. So two threes. Gives it a two-point lead. Shot clock winding down, under 10. Lucas has got to get busy. Forces it up from three-point range. Clark with the rebound. McDonough off the screen from Billick. That three won't fall. And he's 0 for 2 from downtown is McDonough. Knocked away, picked up by Tashimi. Under 10. Reed, baseline, banks it in. Good pocket pass there by Otho. Clark on the drive. Clark. Billick with the rebound. Powers it up, left it short. Lucas splits the D, a lot of contact. And a foul on Christmas. That's Kanan's first, team's first. And Jaden Lucas will shoot too. Lucas, who had 11 points last night in the quarterfinal. And a six foot three senior will go two for two on his first trip to the strike this afternoon. McDonough on the drive. Billick 
Christmas inside, blocked by Reed. Otho forces it up. Cauley blows the put back, but Otho's there, and he'll connect. Lucas a steal on the inbound. To Shimmy, banks it in, and Bury to Shimmy, looking to be aggressive in this semifinal. He's got four. Leads up to six. Napier on the drive, hangs, and draws the foul, and Peter Napier will shoot two. So Tashimi will be called for the foul. That's his first. Team foul number one. As Amari Upshaw will come in, Kanan's Christmas will go to the bench for the first time. Upshaw, an outstanding game. My opinion was the player of the game yesterday versus Horton. Upshaw, 19 points as Napier knocks down both. Lucas, nice catch inside. Reed with the height advantage. Couldn't use it as he had the smaller man in McDonough, and Griffin will clear the boards. Griffin attacks the other way, lays it up and in, explosive blow by and finish by Griffin McDonough. Lucas, the read, and he'll lay it up and in. And that's the second time Jaden Lucas is able to break down the Citadel defense with Reed converting off the glass. Knocked out of bounds by Lucas. It will stay with Citadel. Christmas will check in. And Clark will check out. Shane Lucas will come in for the first time for the Knights. Shane, the brother of Jaden, the six foot grade nine. Shane Lucas, 10 points in that victory yesterday. Tashimi will sit down, who's off to a good start with four points. Napier off the pin down. Otho on the closeout to chase him off. Christmas, gotta get busy, sidestep three-pointer. Rims out, Billick with the rebound, second chance. Here's a Upshaw for three. Napier saved it on the end line, then throws it away. Otho directing traffic. Lucas breaks down McDonough, fade away on the baseline. It's good. Six point game. 335 remaining in the opening frame. Here's Christmas. Stumbles, but finishes with the left hand. Lucas back the other way. Puts it in, and Lucas has 10 of the 18 for the Knights. Upshaw turns the corner, and a reach and foul. And that's on Fabian Cauley. That's his first. Team second. Otho will check out. Actually, he'll stay in the game, I believe. No, he'll go to the bench as Victorian Oliver, the six foot freshman, will come in for Millwood. Along with Ryan Miller, the 5'11 senior. Toby Kisa, the 5'10 senior, will check in also for Citadel. Here's Kisa. He'll hand it over to Christmas. McDonough 
Chased around by Upshaw. Christmas on the attack, spins in the lane and he'll walk. Third turnover committed by the, the Phoenix. Here's Oliver. Miller quickly moves it to Colley. Shane Lucas to Oliver. Crosses up Upshaw. He'll pull it out. Upshaw falls, gets back up. Miller three-pointer. Won't go. And Amari secures the rebound and is fouled by Colley. That's his second. So decision time here for Damon Cole in his fifth season as the bench boss for the Millwood Knights. 37 and four on the season are the Knights. Four losses. One of them coming to Citadel, and that was in the regular season. The other two, the other three, excuse me, two for C.P. Allen, and one by Auburn. Traverius Carfrey knocks down the triple right off the bench. The 5'11 freshman knocks down the three. He had 10 yesterday in that victory. Miller hangs, he's fouled by Upshaw. So Ryan Miller will shoot two. Reed will check out. Paul Otho will come back for Millwood. And the 5'11 senior will knock down both. Five point game. Two minutes remaining in the opening frame. Here's McDonough. Upshaw, step back three pointer. Won't go. Kisa with the rebound and McDonough banks it home. Otho picks up his dribble. Jaden Lucas looking under 10. Shane Lucas for three. Off the side of the backboard. Had a good look on the late close by Carvery. Kisa drives baseline, but it'll be called for the walk. Fourth turnover committed by the Phoenix. Oliver crosses up McDonough, gets inside, hangs, and gets it to go. And Victoria and Oliver gets on the board. Under a minute left in the period. And Carvery can't secure that pivot foot. He'll be called for the travel. Fifty one point three remaining. Oliver will walk it up over the timeline. Oliver crosses up, step through, and he'll be called for the walk. Thirty three point four remaining in the period. Five point game. A difference of nine seconds on the shot clock game clock. McDonough will get it over the timeline. Directing traffic is Griffin. Carvery spins, kicks it out. Upshaw for three. Chases down his own miss. 
Scramble for the loose ball and tie it up. And possession arrow will favor the Knights. And actually, it's quick conference here with the officials. So the crew chief, Ryan Maxwell, as the possession arrow in the direction of Millwood. 12.8 remaining here in the opening frame. Knights lead. They'll hold for the last shot. Outho on the drive, loses the handle, almost stolen. Lucas, three-pointer, it'll count if it goes. So after one quarter, Millwood lead by five. We're back after these messages with Maritime Athletic Profiles coverage of the 2024 School Sport Nova Scotia Division I Boys Basketball Championships. Life moves fast. You've just got to be ready for it. For big moves and fresh starts. And for promises to stay in touch when they get there. For making sure nothing gets missed. For getting the whole house to feel like home. For knowing that whatever comes next, we can make it work. Back in Wolfville, Nova Scotia. Ten minutes in the books. The Capital Region champions, Millwood High School Knights, leading the Citadel High School Phoenix by five. The Phoenix, the Capital Region qualifier, as mentioned, second meeting in two weeks between these two programs. As Alec Petropoulos in his first season as the head coach for the Phoenix, 27 and seven, leading this Phoenix team into these championships, looking to win their second provincial championship. And on the other side, Millwood, last appearance in the championship final was in 2003, 2004 season, when they lost to St. Patrick's High School. So it will be Citadel basketball will start this period. Clark, Napier, Billick, Christmas, and Carvery will start the quarter. For Millwood, it's Miller, Jaden Lucas, Shane Lucas, Otho, and Oliver. Carvery bobbles it. Almost stolen by Shane Lucas. It will stay with Citadel. Clark closely guarded by Jaden Lucas. Clark gets inside. And Paul Otho will be called for the foul. That'll be his first, team's first. Otho will check out. And Donovan Reed will come in. Christmas on the inbound. Clark. And Christmas will play catch. Under 10 to shoot. Clark off the side of the backboard. And Billick will be called for the foul. And that'll be Tim Billick's first. Team's first. Jaden Lucas, Miller, three-pointer, can't hit.
Clark gets inside, drops it off to Billick, and he'll bank it home. And that's Tim Billick's first field goal of the game. Cuts the lead to three. And a moving screen away from the ball. Donovan Reed will pick up his first, team second. Clark will get them organized. Christmas looking for the screen. Steps back on Oliver, pull up. Knocks down the midi. Devastating move off the bounce there by Kanan Christmas. The six foot three senior, he's got seven. Clark pokes it away. And he'll be called for the reach as Bryson Clark will pick up his first, team second. Jaden Lucas in the corner, blows by Clark, count it, plus the foul and a chance at the three-point play. Jaden Lucas with 10 points in the first period. At the line now for the chance at a three-point play as Billick will pick up his second. He'll go to the bench, team third. But what a start for Jaden Lucas. Can't complete the three-point play. 12 points for Lucas as Anthony Shaw's in the game now for Citadel. Napier back out there as well. Clark, and it's almost stolen. As Tyler Mulva, who checked in for the first time for Millwood, the six foot two junior, had 11 points last night. Was Mulva off the bench? Carvery, floater game. Tough drive by Traverius Carvery. He's got five. Back the other way as Shane Lucas with the right hand finish. Cox Citadel sleeping on defense. Napier and a kick ball on Oliver. Possession will stay with Citadel. And Alex Petropoulos will call a timeout. Trailing by three with 7.29 left here in the second period. So game number one of the semifinals here on Maritime Athletic Profiles. One versus four. And, and approximately after 4 p.m. the second semifinal will go when the back-to-back -back defending champions, the Charles P. Allen Cheetahs, the second-seeded team in this tournament, will take on the sixth seed. Ombre Academy Ospreys, who in a very good basketball game last night, were able to knock off CEC and move on. First appearance at the provincial championships for the Ombre Academy Ospreys, the smallest school to ever qualify for the Division I Boys Basketball Championships and advance now. So some history on the line for John Trammell's team. As they will compete in that second semifinal here on Maritime Athletic Profiles. Looking for a berth in the championship game. That will go tomorrow on Eastling. So out of the timeout, 
Citadel possession. Clark, Carvery, Napier, Shaw, and Christmas. It's Oliver, Jaden Lucas, and Jaden will be called for the foul on the inbound. That'll be his first, team's third. Molva, Shane Lucas, and Toshimi, who had four in the first period, will check back in out of the time. Oh, Christmas from downtown, and that's his second three. And Christmas has 10. Tied up at 26. Lucas spins, hangs, count it, and one, and a chance at the three-point play again for Jaden Lucas. He is a defensive nightmare right now for Citadel. 14 and the meter still running. 15 for Lucas. Knights take back the lead. Here's Napier. Mova picks him up. He'll cross him over. Shaw. Clark's got to get busy. Napier. Three pointer. Won't go. Batted around. Secured by Shane Lucas. Shane on the attack. Gets downhill all the way to the rim and puts it in. That's the second time Shane Lucas has ran rim the rim with no resistance defensively from Citadel. Christmas, three-pointer, yes! Knocks down the triple and, and Kaden Christmas is unconscious right now. That's his third three from downtown. He's got 13. Mova thought about three, blow by on Carvery, lays it up and in. Outstanding decision by Tyler on the blow by. Clark trying to get downhill and he's fouled. A foul on Mova. That'll be his first. Team's fourth. So the next foul for both teams. It will be over the limit. Oliver will check back. Cauley will come out. Amari Upshaw's back in there for Citadel. So is Toby Kisa. Here's Kisa. Upshaw. Banker not there, put back. And he's fouled on that attempt. And Amari Upshaw will shoot a pair. So Oliver will pick up the foul. That'll be his first. Millwood over the limit. Upshaw, the Metro League Rookie of the Year. with Armbray Academy Ospreys, the former Orangeville prep standout. Played the first half of this year with Orangeville prep and decided to come back home. And he'll knock down one of two. Upshaw with 19 points last night in that victory. Otho will come in and Jaden Lucas who has been dynamic on all three levels offensively. Florida Knights, 15 points leading the way. Leads all scores is Jaden Lucas. Here's Oliver inside, flips it up and in. Beautiful entry by Mova. Lead back up to five. Christmas three-pointer, that'll rim out. Mova with the rebound. 
Kanan already three points, three threes, excuse me, from beyond the arc in this game. Oliver with the blow by. To Shimmy with the follow. Too strong and Lucas gathers. Otho. Here's Oliver. Mova for three. Also with a third chance, but it's stolen by Christmas. Kisa now will settle. Upshaw walks into a three. Splash, nothing but nylon and the first three pointer for Amari Upshaw in the game. Cuts the lead to two. The shimmy turns it over. Upshaw on the run out. Banks it in, a quick five points for Amari Upshaw. Ties it up at 35 apiece. Here's Otho. Trying to take Christmas off the bounce and Paul Otho will be called for the offensive foul. That'll be his second. So decision time here for Damon Cole. Traverius Christmas will check out. Griffin McDonough will come in. Citadel looking to take the lead on this possession. Christmas doubled. Kisa drives baseline. Under five, Napier three-pointer on the way. That'll rim out. And Upshaw will be called for the reach. That'll be his first. Phoenix over the limit. Two free throws coming up for Millwood. So Miller will check in. Altho will check out. The Marion Downey will come in as Shane Lucas will shoot too. First one too strong for Shane Lucas. And he gets the friendly bounce. He'll go one for two. So the grade nine, Shane Lucas with five. Full court pressure being applied by Millwood. Citadel breaks it. Kisa blows the layup, but he's fouled. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. So Downey will pick up his first. Toby Kisa will shoot a pair. Left the first one short. And the 5'10 senior will miss both, gets his own rebound, then throws it away. Mova with the steal. Turnover number six committed by Citadel. Downey on the run out, lays it up and in. Lead back up the three. Here's McDonough. Upshaw takes Melva off the bounce and banks it home and stares him down. Gorgeous move and left handed finish on the right side by Armari Upshaw. Instant offense off the bench by that young man. Mova for three and the lead. <laughs> Oliver with the steal. Shane Lucas on the run out block and chased down by Upshaw. 
but the follow through, and that'll be a foul on Amari Upshaw. That'll be his second. Shane Lucas will shoot two. And some confusion here. And the foul is on Upshaw, his second. Alex Petropoulos will call a timeout with 2.12 remaining in the first half. Knights lead 43 to 37. So a timeout on the floor. Mari Upshaw with the last seven points for the Phoenix. Shane Lucas, who's been outstanding off the bench for the Knights, with a couple free throws coming out of this timeout. I do believe, unless they count it, that run to the rim with a goaltending, but. Lucas nonetheless will be at the free throw line as there was some confusion there before the timeout was called by Petropolis. But these free throws should clear that confusion up quite quickly. So the timeout expires. Shane Lucas will walk to the free throw line. Oliver Miller to Shimmy and Mova for the Knights. And for the Phoenix, it's Christmas, Billick, Napier, Carvery, and McDonough. So it appears to be one free throw here for Shane Lucas. Doesn't get the roll, so it was a goaltending on that attempt by Lucas. Here's McDonough, floater, got it. Shooters bounce around the rim for Griffin McDonough. He's got six. Oliver, blow by on Christmas. Lucas Miller, three-pointer, left it short in the open arms of Oliver, and he'll get forced into the walk as Tim Billick provided some resistance there and second thoughts for Victorian Oliver. Full court pressure being applied by Millwood. Christmas gets it over the timeline. Almost got away with a walk. Billick banks it in. Broken to perfection by the Phoenix. And a inbound violation by Tashimi as he stepped over the end line. As Dawson Bursey butts the umpire one right there with the correct call. Citadel with an opportunity to tie or take the lead. And Napier can't knock down a three-pointer. Tashimi splits the D. Knocked away by Carvery. Traverius scoops it up. Now he'll make his way down the other way. Under a minute to go in the half. Christmas for three! And Kanan Christmas again with his fourth three-pointer in the game. And Citadel takes a one-point lead. Downey for the lead. Won't go. Carvery secures the rebound for Citadel. Billick able to secure it. Napier in the corner quickly moves it. 
Javarius Carvery for downtown. And they'll hold at, for the last shot at Citadel and a one point lead. McDonough directing traffic. Christmas calling for it. Napier, sidestep, three pointer. That'll rim out. Fight for the rebound. And the Knights have an opportunity to get one up if they hurry. And Toshimi doesn't do it. It won't count. At the half, Citadel lead by one. We're back after this break with the Royal LePage 6 8 Realty Group halftime report. This presentation of the 2024 School Sport Nova Scotia Division I Boys Basketball Championships brought to you by Maritime Athletic Profiles will continue after these messages. <laughs>
Back in Wolfville, Nova Scotia here at the half. A one-point lead for the Citadel Phoenix. And let's take a the quick look at the numbers at the half. Toshemi with four points and one foul for the Knights. But Jaden Luke is leading the way with 13 points and two fouls in the first 20 minutes for Citadel. They're led by Kanan Christmas with 15 and one foul. Amari Upshaw off the bench with eight points and three fouls. Shane Lucas with five off the bench for the Knights. In total, six lead changes in this game. And it's been back and forth in the next 20 minutes or plus, I do anticipate the same. Fourth meeting between these two teams. Millwood leads two to one. A 13 point victory at home in the Capital Region semifinals. Millwood going on to win the Capital Region banner, knocking off CP Allen in their first Capital Region championship in program history. So those numbers brought to you by Royal LePage and 6-8 Realty Group. So the third period upon us here. Millwood will start with possession. Sashimi, Jaden Lucas, Cauley, Reed, and Otho. Board of Phoenix, Christmas, Clark, Napier, McDonough, and Billick. Lucas on the drive, knocked away by Christmas. McDonough on the run out. Cauley trying to chase him down from behind. Couldn't convert was McDonough. Lucas on the step through and again, Christmas able to get a hand and knock it out of bounds. It will stay with Millwood. But Lucas looking to pick up where he left off, attacking the rim. Reed trying to post up Billick. The shimmy banks it in. Gorgeous one hand and extended layup with the right hand by Bury. And Milwa takes back the lead. McDonough on the drive. Can't draw the foul. Excuse me, that's Clark. Elto goes right into the body of Christmas and banks it home. And Paul Elso with four points after scoring 16 last night. Christmas three-pointer won't go. Four threes in the first half for Christmas. Billick with the rebound, and Christmas blows the layup in tight. Outstanding hustle, though, by the, the senior. Can't save it on the end line. But an opportunity at point-blank range after that rebound by Billick. Christmas had it, but... 
couldn't convert. So Millwood dodges a bullet. Now Trishimi will bring it over the timeline. Lucas cut off by Clark. Reed, pump fake, blocked from behind by Christmas. For the shoot for the Knights. Lucas will trigger the inbound on the baseline. Reed on Billick. Baby sky hook won't fall. Billick with the rebound. And a reaching foul called on the baseline. And that's Reed's second personal, team's first. McDonough. Christmas turns the corner off that screen. Three pointer, won't go, fight for the loose ball. And Billick will be called for the foul. That'll be Tim's third, team's first. So Billick with three personals, Reed with two. Petropolis rolling the dice, leaving Tim Billick in the game. Otho. Reed inside, spins on Billick, banks it in. Donovan Reed with the dream shake. Was able to spin left on Billick. Couldn't put up much resistance, playing with three fouls. Clark chased off the three-point line, loses the handle. Outho on the run out. Napier with the rebound. Now Napier make his way back the other way. One on three. Clark three-pointer. Won't fall. And Clark trying to find his shooting range in this game. Lucas will be called for the walk. Couldn't keep that pivot put secured. Shane Lucas will come in for his brother Jaden who will sit down for the first time here in the second half. Anthony Shaw's in the game for the Phoenix as Tim Billick will go to the bench with three personals. Clark surveying, almost picked off by Otho. It will stay with Citadel with 11 to shoot. Clark on the drive, one on four, not there. To Shimmy, Otho chased off the line. Shane Lucas will turn it over. McDonough, he'll lay it up and in off the turnover. For Shimmy looking for a screen. Horn set here for Millwood. Otho finds himself wide open from downtown. Won't go. McDonough with the, the rebound. Here's Clark trying to get on track offensively. Step back three pointer. Got it. And you could see the anxiety on the face of Bryson Clark. He finally able to knock down. His first field goal of the game, and it's a big one. It ties it up at 49. Cauley gets loose underneath, and he'll lay it up and in. And that's Cauley's first field goal of the game for the Knights, and they'll take back a two-point lead. Approaching a midway point here in the third period. A 
foul call here. As a, it appears to be on Bryson Clark. That's his second and moving screen. Team second. Here's Swissimi, crosses up Shaw. Flips it inside. Cauley couldn't handle. Victorian Oliver in the game now, along with Traverius Carvery. Cauley spins. Disjointed sequence there for the Knights. No look pass in tight, and Shaw sneaks it up and over the rim off a beautiful delivery from Kanan Christmas. Turnover, McDonough lays it up and in. And the Phoenix take back the lead. Back and forth we go here in the third period. Multiple lead changes to Shimmy for the tie. Now McDonough will walk it up over the timeline. Griffin, Nate Shaw for the three in the corner. Won't go and secured by Otho. Knights looking for the tie of the lead. Oliver thought about dialing it up. Takes Christmas off the bounce. Flips it up, Otho with the put back, count it. Plus one, and a chance for a three point play. So Paul Altho able to draw the contact. He'll get the N1. Griffin McDonough, quick conversation, one of the captains for Citadel. With the crew chief, Ryan Maxwell. And Altho able to knock down the free throw. And the Knights will have the lead again. Kisa. Here's Napier, and Miller will be called for the hold. So Ryan Miller will pick up his first, team second. Traverius Carvery. Hesitation, blow by, pull up. Won't fall. Here's Oliver. Out throw for three pointer. Carvery with the rebound, but he stepped on the end line. Molva will come in. Altho will sit down with 3.20 remaining in the period. And a one point lead for the Knights. Oliver trying to get busy. Denied by Carver, he'll pull it out. Cauley can't secure the pass. Napier on the run out, left hand, got it. And Napier gives back the Phoenix a one point lead. Here's Lucas, tied up by Christmas and stolen. Christmas has been relatively quiet here in the second half. Held by Mulva, and Ryan will pick up his second, team's third. Kisa. McDonough looking to attack. He's been very good in the second half along with Napier. Napier from downtown, way out. Try to beat the shot clock, throws up the air ball. 
Here's Miller for three in the corner. Won't go. Another rebound for McDonough. Kisa attacking and Kisa count it. And a chance for the three point play as Victorian Oliver couldn't get there in time to get the charge. So Toby Kisa will go to the line for the and one. A strong move for Kisa, the five foot 10 senior. His first field goal of the game, and it's a huge one. Free throw not there, last touch by Christmas. So the Knights will try to get within one or tie it up on this possession. Oliver gets inside, lays it up and in, no resistance defensively as Victorian Oliver gets all the way to the cup. He's got six. Not very good on the ball defense there by Citadel. As Victorian Oliver weaves his way through the key and an easy deuce in the end. One point game. McDonough blow by, Carvery three pointer. Too strong, McDonough with the offensive rebound, second chance coming up for Citadel. Here's Napier off the bounce. Flips it inside the Carvery, he'll draw the contact on Oliver. And Traverius Carvery will shoot a pair. Carvery with five points in the first half. 5'11 freshman will shoot two. McDonough will step out. Amari Upshaw checks in. Upshaw playing with three fouls and eight points. And Carvey will go one for two. Oliver, Miller for the lead in the corner. Won't go, Oliver with the rebound, and he'll put it back up and in, and he'll tie it up at 58 apiece. And Oliver's got four in the quarter. Upshaw will pull it out. Christmas three-pointer. Won't go. After a quick start, 15 in the first half. Christmas searching for his first points here in the second. Oliver stumbles and is fouled. And Victoria and Oliver will go to the line to shoot two. Fouls on Peter Napier. That's his first. Team's fourth. As Jake Darling, number 14, the six foot one freshman for the Knights will check in for the first time. Oliver can't sneak the first one over the rim. He'll go one for two. Five and a quarter now for Victorian. Gives him a one point lead. 30 seconds to go in the period. Carvery will pull it out on Mova. Surveying, cross court pass. Upshaw three pointer in the corner, got it! And Amari Upshaw with a huge three pointer on the rotation for Citadel. And they take a two point lead. Knights will hold for the last shot. Here's Oliver. Gotta get busy. Oliver splits the D. Left hand not there. Carvey heaves it. Won't count. 
and Citadel will take a two-point lead after three quarters completed. We're back after these messages with Maritime Athletic Profiles coverage of the 2024 School Sport Nova Scotia Division I Boys Basketball Championships. QMJHL Friday Night Hockey on East Link is presented by CarStar. East Link is the home of QMJHL Friday Night Hockey. Catapult in! Patrick Catapult! QMJHL Friday Night Hockey. Friday, March 8th. Hackney Bathers versus Halifax at 7 p.m. Available only to East Link video customers. Back in Wolfville, Nova Scotia. Three quarters in the books here in the semifinal number one here on Maritime Athletic Profiles. The Citadel Phoenix leading it by two over the Millwood High School Knights. Mari Upshaw's corner three towards the end of that third period and it's 11th point has propelled the Phoenix with a two point lead entering the fourth quarter. We have had 15 lead changes in this game. It's been back and forth here in the second half, and I would expect it will continue here in the fourth period. A berth in the final on the line. 10 minutes plus remaining in this semifinal. The second one will go here on Maritime Athletic Profiles approximately around 4.30 where the second seeded and back-to-back -back defending champions, the Charles B. Allen Cheetahs will take on the sixth seeded Ombre Academy Ospreys, making their first appearance in these provincial championships in Division Boys 1. And they'll look to punch their ticket to their first final. Carvery, Napier, Kisa, Christmas, and Upshaw will get the start here in the fourth. It's Jaden Lucas, Shane Lucas, Jake Darlin, Paul Otho, and Donovan Reed for the Knights, and a moving screen on Kisa. Try to clear space there for Napier, and Toby Kisa will pick up his first, team's first. Lucas surveying. Otho off the screen on the baseline, three-pointer. Carvery had it, couldn't secure it. Nice pass in tight as the brother-the-brother -brother connection between Shane Lucas and Jaden Lucas. Jaden up to 15. Here's Carvery in the lead, three-pointer, won't fall. Shane Lucas on the attack, on the other end. Jaden will pull it out, looking to throw it inside. The Reed who had a height advantage on Kisa, but Upshaw steals it on the entry. Upshaw, three-pointer, puts it in! And Citadel takes back a three-point lead. Upshaw with 14 and his third three in the game. Here's Darling, throws it inside. Reed desperately try to save it on the end line. So the seventh turnover committed by the Knights. Citadel looking to build on this three point lead. Carvery, back to back. He'll leave it short. Kisa with the rebound. And a foul on Millwood. As Jake Darling will be called for the foul. That's his first. Team's first. Napier will inbound on the baseline. Partially deflected. Out of bounds, last touch by the Knights. 
Napier will trigger the inbound side out. Carvery, and Carvery's fouled by Shane Lucas. That's Shane's first, team second. Shane will check out. And Bury Tashimi will come in from Millwood. Here's Upshaw. Carvery drives baseline. Banks it in, explosive move as he left Jake Darling in the dust. Five point game. Darling three pointer, won't go. Chased down by Traverius Carvery. Carvery. Hands it off to Napier. Christmas three-pointer. Almost goes down. Battered around, kept alive. And outstanding hustle on the baseline by the freshman Jake Darling. Will secure possession for Millwood. Kisa checks out. Griffin McDonough comes back for Citadel. Darling will go to the bench and Victorian Oliver, who's played outstanding here in the second half, will come in from Millwood. Reed trying to post up Christmas. Otho looking to go inside. Takes Carvey off the bounce and Otho will draw the foul on Traverius Carvery. That'll be Carvery's first, team second. Here's Oliver to Shimmy for three. Banks it in from downtown. It's open here at the Horton Gymnasium and gets the Knights back within two. Napier for three. And that'll scrape the front of the rim. Had a good look from distance was Napier. Lucas on the drive. Oliver for the lead for the Knights. That'll rim out. Fight for the rebound, last touch by Reed. So Fabian Colley will come in, Jaden Lucas will sit down. Lucas who had 13 in the first half it's cooled down here in the second with two's got 15. Napier blow by. Christmas ran off the three point line. Carvery thought about dialing it from distance. Here's Napier, he'll try for three. Wild shot throws up the air ball. Also for three. That won't go. Secured by Upshaw. Upshaw bobbles it, loses the handle. Runs into Oliver, and it will be Millwood possession on the turnover by Upshaw. Nice looking to tie it up or take the lead. Reed posting up Christmas down low. Great position and backing down was Donovan Reed. Kanan will pick up his second. That's Citadel's third team foul. Cauley, blow by on Napier. Can't finish. Reed with the put back. Ties it up at 66. Approaching the midway point here in the fourth period. Tie game. Citadel looking to get back to lead. McDonough working his way inside. He'll draw the foul on Oliver and he'll shoot a pair. So Griffin McDonough, the 5'11 junior, 
will shoot two. And Griffin will knock down both to give Citadel a, a two-point lead. Here's Swashemi, cut off by McDonough. He'll pull it out. Otho. Quick ball movement by the Knights. Swashemi, he'll be called for the walk. Turnover number eight on the game for Millwood. McDonough will walk it up over the timeline. Looking to attack, gets downhill. Flips it up and in. Outstanding right hand move by Griffin McDonough. He's got the last four points. And it's a four point lead for Citadel. McDonough with the blow by. Oliver with the answer, not there. Reed put back, soft touch around the rim. Reed starting to dominate that inside presence between him and Christmas. McDonough again banks it in. Oh, standing move to the cup by Griffin McDonough. He's got the last six for Citadel. Also chased off the three point line, turned over as Upshaw with the steal. He'll walk it over the timeline. Just over four minutes remaining in regulation. Upshaw, McDonough three-pointer. Left it short, batted around. And McDonough somehow comes up with it, then he'll throw it away. Joshimi stepped through, banks it in. No resistance at the rim there. As Bury gets all the way to the rim. He's got six. One possession game. Christmas, hesitation. Gets inside and he'll draw the foul on Oliver. And Kanan with a couple free throws. He's been held in check here in the second half. Went off for 15 in the first 20. It's been relatively silent here in the second half. Griffin McDonough, he has been the story up to this point here in the fourth period for Citadel. Explosive takes to the rim and finishes with either hand has been Griffin McDonough. So Christmas will shoot a pair here. And the six foot three senior with ice water in his veins, able to knock down both. Back to a four point lead for Citadel. To a semi for three, can't hit. And McDonough in no hurry to get it over the timeline. He'll walk it up, he'll take his time. Christmas three-pointer, got it! And he stares down Donovan Reed, and Damon Cole has seen enough, he'll call a timeout as the Citadel bench explodes off into the floor, and they have a seven-point lead with 3.09 remaining here in regulation. So Christmas, who's been relatively kept in check here in the second half, has five points here in the fourth period, and it's been big. <laughs> Citadel, 
3.09 away from punching their ticket to the final. One championship for Citadel High School, and that came in 2009. He lost the championship last season. C.P. Allen, the Cheetahs, went back to back as they will try for an opportunity to go to their third consecutive championship game and win three in a row and complete the dynasty are the Cheetahs and that game will go about 4.30 p.m. here on Maritime Athletic Profiles versus the Armbray Academy Ospreys. So Millwood with some work to do. 37 and four. The Millwood Knights. Three minutes remaining in regulation, down by seven. Lucas, three-pointer, throws up the air ball. Saved by Shane Lucas. Under 10, Shane's gotta get busy. Spins in the lane, not there. Cauley kept it alive in the putback, and a shot clock violation, it hit the rim. As the crew chief, Ryan Maxwell called a shot clock violation. Brian Walker, the umpire too, coming in as that shot hit the rim. It should have been a reset to 14. And then they'll clear it up here and they'll get it right. So it's set to 22 seconds here. Reed will check out. Tyler Mova will come in. Jaden Lucas on the inbound. Mova, corner three, blocked by McDonough. He's been everywhere. Lucas, fade away. Cauley, put back. Upshaw on the run out, he'll chase it down. Here's Napier. Double, Cauley steals it. Knights have numbers. Cauley banks it in and Alex Petropoulos calls a timeout with 2.05 remaining in regulation. Couple nervous possessions there by the Phoenix as Fabian Cauley. Eight points on the game, back to back buckets, big ones. And it's a one possession game as the Knights trail by three. So Alex Petropoulos in his first season as the head coach for the Citadel High School Phoenix, 27 and seven. Trying to knock off the Knights here in the semifinals in this provincial championships. They were able to get it done in the regular season, but however, lost in that Capital Region semifinal by 13 on Millwood's home floor. So a neutral site between these two programs. Millwood, who finished third last season, the first bronze medal in program history for the Knights. And Alex Petropoulos trying to get Citadel back to the championship game. 2.05 remaining in regulation. Phoenix basketball. McDonough, Upshaw, Napier, Christmas, and Carvery. Otto, Shane, Up Lucas, Jane Lucas, along with Mulva and Cauley. Upshaw will pull it out. Gets inside. Carvery three-pointer, got it! 
Traverius Curry with a huge three in the corner as the shot clock was dwindling. Cauley loses it inside. Look out, Upshaw lays it up and in, and one, and a chance for the three-point play. So Traverius Carvery knocks down the three. Amari Upshaw gets behind the Millwood defense. The attempt at the throwdown was denied by Alto with the foul, but Upshaw. And Amari will miss it. Oto knocked away, stolen. Carvery back to back, won't go. McDonough kept it alive. Quick shot there by the freshman. Probably should have pulled it out. Lucas on the drive. Oto for three, won't fall. Three pointers not going this afternoon for Millwood. Upshaw steals it. Carvery ahead of the pack. Banks it in. And Traverius Carvery gives Citadel a 10 point lead with under a minute to go. Here's Otto. He'll bank it in. Lead down the eight. Citadel in no hurry to shoot. Napier knocked away and fouled by Jaden Lucas. And Peter Napier will shoot too. And a total breakdown by this Millwood defense in transition. As Carvery and Upshaw able to sneak behind on the long outlet pass. 47.7 remaining in regulation. Napier with a couple big three throws. Cool, calm, collective. Peter knocks down the first. He'll knock down the second, and Damon Cole will call a timeout. Lead back up to 10. It's Citadel's largest. And they are on the verge of punching their ticket to the finals. 47.7 remaining in regulation. Millwood looking for answers here. As the next semifinal will go here on Maritime Athletic Profiles, where the CP Allen Cheetahs will take on the Armbray Academy Ospreys. Approximately around 4.30 p.m. Cheetahs looking for the dynasty. Three straight. They've already got the back-to-back. -back but the Armbray Ospreys will be standing in their way. It'll be another rematch of the Capital Region semifinals as the Ospreys on the road went down in the hands of defeat in overtime versus C.P. Allen. So Lucas will inbound, side out. Trailing by 10. Otho. Three pointer. Puts it in. Paul Otho with a huge three. And Alec Petropolis will call a timeout. Millwood not finish here with 41.5 remaining. So now it's Alec Petropolis' time to draw something up out of this timeout. Will he advance the basketball into the front court or decide to inbound in the back court? So Millwood, who has struggled from downtown in this game, Paul Otho in a huge three. But they have lots of work to do, are the Knights, if they're going to somehow get over the finish line and secure their first appearance in the championship final. Yeah. 
So it will be Phoenix basketball, and they'll decide to inbound in the backcourt. Upshaw, Napier, McDonough, Christmas, and Carvery. Shane Lucas, Jaden Lucas, Victorian Oliver, who's played a whale of a game. Paul Otho and Bury Thrashimi. Full court pressure. And Otho knocks it out of bounds. He tried to sell the steal. And Upshaw once again will inbound on the baseline for Citadel. Phoenix able to break the pressure. Millwood over the limit. Kane and Christmas will shoot two. Christmas will knock down both. Four free throws here in the fourth period for Christmas, and they have been big. Upshaw knocks it out of bounds. A difference of eight seconds on the shot clock, game clock. 29.2 remaining in regulation. Citadel on the verge, and Alto will step out of bounds. Upshaw gets it into Napier. And Napier is bumped. And Peter will shoot two. So 25.1 remaining in regulation. Napier can pretty much ice this game from the free throw line in Citadel. Will survive and move on and punch their ticket to the championship final. Tomorrow afternoon, will they wait for the winner of the Charles P. Allen Cheetahs and the Armbre Academy Ospreys. So Citadel will exercise their demons from two weeks ago. They will get their revenge here at the Provincial Championships. Lucas for three. Put back not there. And that'll do it. So the Citadel High School Phoenix, they will defeat the Millwood High School Knights. 90 to 81 and punch their ticket in the championship final that will go tomorrow afternoon on Eastlink TV. So Citadel getting it done. They were able to survive a couple runs by the Millwood Knights. Congratulations to both of these teams. as Mill Millwood will now play tomorrow in the Constellation. And Citadel will march on. So that'll do it for the first semifinal here at Horton High School Gymnasium. For producer Dylan Jones and the entire Maritime Athletic Profiles crew, I'm Vince Williams saying thank you for watching the 2024 School Sport Nova Scotia Division I Boys Basketball Championships. So long for now from Wolfville, Nova Scotia.